I've been working with Mike Joyce. Mike was a miniature soup on Batman Forever. And Greg Stuhl, some of the guys that used to work with Greg Jean on Stargate with Roland Emmerich were working for Mike. The Batmobile had evolved uh, and gotten more, um, uh, more complex with each show, as did the city, as did Gotham City each time got bigger and more elaborate uh, as a miniature. But when we got that Batmobile, it had to have six exhausts, three on each rear fender, and they wanted to see the same red fire that the other ones, uh, both miniature and live action, uh, had, had produced. So I had to work out the miniature plumbing and uh, uh, control systems for that with Dave Beasley's help because he had worked on the previous model when he was working with Grant McCune. So <clears throat> I rigged up what amounted to a tiny miniature pressure pot that would um, have the, uh, the, the gas that produces the fire would come through it and create a spray inside this little chamber and then there were tubes coming out of it that led to each one of the, of the jets. So that basically you had a, a gas mixed with compressed air, very eager to burn, picking up tiny, tiny droplets of what amounts to an aerosol of the strontium nitrate and alcohol, combining at the tips with the burning gases to produce the red flame. And uh, it proved to be pretty tricky getting everything to balance, getting everything to, be, to, to run in a predictable manner so that you could turn it on on cue and it would operate safely without blowing the the car up because it basically would, would have been a flying bomb if we uh, you know hadn't been doing everything right it even had a device that if the car accidentally flipped over and it, which meant that the liquid would start to spill out that everything would shut down there was a little gravity device and a, a solenoid operated pinch valve that would shut off the uh, the liquid the moment the car you know changed its attitude past a certain point so, uh, yeah, I was responsible for engineering all that. I got a chance to uh, work on a, the miniature Batmobile for Batman and Robin. I uh, assisted uh, Pete Gerard and Dave Beasley uh, just operating that, but to work around that one, uh, I made the spinner nose cone assembly for that miniature RC car that we launched. I was given free reign by Ian Hunter to, to just build it. So that means I created a vacuform buck for the spinner nose cone that's going to be lit up. I made the armature with the gearing and the lighting for it. So that was a great miniature to work on. There were, you know, Mocha operators would very often run the camera into your models on set. When you're dealing with, with models like the Gotham City stuff that we had on, you know, Batman and, Batman and Robin, which were the same models from Batman Forever, the same models from The Shadow, you know, but when you're dealing with those and you're out there on a lift, kind of trying to maneuver between the buildings, you know, there's always like a, yeah, oh, I hit something, okay. And you have to rush out and fix it before, before you roll. But I mean, at least you're the guy breaking it in that case, so you can fix it. <laughs> Whereas when the camera operator would hit it with his mocha rig, you know, he'd feel really bad. <laughs> and you're like, yeah, it's all right, you bastard, you know. That was, yeah, that wasn't an everyday occurrence, but it was a pretty frequent thing. But I, I definitely miss being on set you know, for, for MoCo shoots, because that was always a lot of fun, you know, uh, to, being standby. Batman and Robin, since it was a Warner Brothers movie, we hid little Warner Brothers cartoon characters all over the miniature buildings in Gotham, right? Little Marvin the Martian and his spaceship, you know, which are painted all kind of dark and grungy, just so they blend in a bit better. But, oh, they're in, they're in the movie. When you're wide shots of Gotham, they're there, it's particularly if, if there are shots where the camera's close to buildings and moving up and down. They're, they're in there. We made sure of that.